Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from the Valheim online server and check it out, I'm on a log. I'm on a log. I'm out here in what looks like the middle of nowhere, but if you guys uh, saw Zobie and me making a bridge a while back on like, was it episode like four or five or something like that? This is where the bridge used to be. Now, since the server reset, you know, the, the bridge went bye-bye, but uh, we haven't actually rebuilt it. And I think today I'm going to get to work on this place over here because I don't want to just build a bridge, okay? This place, uh, this place has gotten quite a bit of work done on it. Because uh, Mega Gran was out here doing some work uh, a while back, and she carved out this and actually made it so that a longboat can fit through here and actually get through without beaching itself. So my goal and what what I've been tasked with doing is building the uh, the Eastern Canal. That's where we are, people. Check this out right here. Bam! That's where we are. We're over here on the eastern side, Eastern Canal. So we got the Western Canal right here, which is where Spawn Town is, and then this is actually is a natural canal over here that's opened up enough so that you can fit a longboat through there. But then this was actually solid land that we had to dig open so that we can actually fit a longboat through here. And that way we can have access to both sides of the main continent and uh, and get out into the ocean whenever we want to. But this place, I mean, well, we can't do it with this, with this log across the way here, but that, that's fine. Um, but this place is it hasn't been worked on in a while, and I think I'm going to do some work over here. But first, I'm going to pop this deer right here. Get rid of that guy. And then, uh, and then what we're going to do is go collect that stuff because I wouldn't mind it. But, uh, but I have to design something to actually go here, and I don't just want it to be just a bridge. I want it to actually be a building that goes over the over the water. Like, the whole thing, I want it to be like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I haven't actually thought about how I'm going to build this, but if this is the width of it, I think I can probably get away with building a rather large structure, because it has to be tall enough that longboats can fit underneath it, so I'm going to go head back to spawn, and I'm going to see how Flues built his bridge, because his is apparently tall enough that longboats can fit underneath it. I could also go and actually get a longboat, just bring it here and make sure that it's tall enough. That might actually be the better way, I think. Um, I also have to move a bunch of resources. I've been moving resources over here recently. I got a bunch of wood in my inventory right now. Uh, doing a lot of farming, uh, getting a lot of wood uh, chopped down because, yeah, you need a lot of wood to actually get this to work, uh, to be able to build in here. So in, in here in this little cramped hut, uh, this is Grand's bed in here. We've got a bunch of stone moved over, got a bunch of wood, a bunch of wood, and a bunch of other miscellaneous things, a bunch of stone and all that too. So we got some things. We also have a portal leading back to, well, that, that one goes to Grand's house right here, but, uh, but this one leads back to my base. So that means that we can easily get back to our main bulk of resources and do some building. So first off, huh, I gotta come up with a design. I'm thinking kind of like an A-frame, but with like a, a curved archway underneath it. I think would look kind of cool. But the sides of it absolutely have to stop here. In fact, it might come back a little bit farther just because I, I really need to get a longboat. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go get the longboat and sail that up here. Or at least go grab the materials and, and bring them up here so I can place it in the water. Um, I have it back at the base, and then we're gonna set it down so I can get an idea because I'm worried about the mast like the, the the supports for the sails sticking left and right, you know I want to make sure that they can fit through too So let me go back to base here and grab that stuff and then I'll be right back Oh, yeah real quick while I'm back here uh, after Modor happened We went ahead and built the artisan table, which is kind of a nifty thing It's basically just a crafting station. You have to put down so that you can place things like this This is a blast furnace and now that I built the artisan table, I was able to actually build this thing. This thing can process black metal and flame metal. Now, flame metal there isn't a use for, but I did go ahead and process it anyway, and now I have this. It's basically like meteorite bars. I guess there's no function for them yet in the game, but one day there will be, so I got a whole bunch of them whenever that happens. Now, black metal there actually is a use for. If you notice, I've got different gear here. I got black metal shield, black metal sword, and a black metal axe. I've maxed them out uh, completely. I've maxed them out to the eyeballs, because I can. I also have new armor. New armor, look at this, padded greaves, padded cur kiros, I don't know how to say that, uh, and padded helmet. Uh, so I've got all this nice, cool stuff. There's even a new cape you can make now, which is kind of crazy. It, it all is from that, uh, from the flax, the stuff that you make from flax. And I actually went ahead and made it, where did I put it? Right here, there it is. It's just a quality one though. Let's throw this thing on. I, I chose a black cape, I think it kind of looks good, but uh, I might might change the color of it to something else. Let's just make another one. Make it with just like an ingot of silver and a bunch of uh, linen. I think that's what you make, right? What, what's uh, what's this stuff you make from flax? Uh, I think I threw it in here. Uh, yeah, linen thread right here. So you, you take flax, you throw it in the, the spinning wheel here. All stuff that you have to make once you throw it on the artisan table. And then uh, and then it throws out some linen for you. Linen uh, thread here. And then using that and a piece of silver, you can make this linen cape. Which looks cool, but it doesn't offer any protection for... Um, 
for like the the cold weather. So I think I'm just gonna stick with my flax cape or my uh, my uh, locks cape actually, because I think that looks cooler anyway. Look at that. I look like a look like a Viking. The um... all right, let me let me get uh, around to grabbing some stuff here. I also need to uh, place uh, these forges here. These are just temporary, just so I can process some iron I went and collected. Because you need a lot of iron. You need a lot of iron to upgrade this gear and to make this gear actually. So you kind of go backwards. You know, you go you go forward, you go from iron to silver, and then you go back to iron for some reason. I don't know, it's a little weird. But I, this place is getting a little crammed. There's a lot of there's a lot of or cramped. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like this thing is is pretty big and bulky. Um, so I need a place for these forges, or at least a forge, so I can process some of the earlier game metals like iron and and copper and tin. And I have to find a spot for that. Not to mention, there's still one more thing that I need to build here, and that is uh that is the windmill. Uh, it's something that you can craft from the artisan table as well. But when you look at this thing, I think it's under crafting. This thing is a pretty big structure, all right? And uh, apparently, I don't know how to use it really, <laughs> but I could throw it like right here. I mean, that would work. Not exactly fancy. I might build a little something here or at least do that up this area a little bit and put that there. You might see that in a future episode. But anyway, I'm, I'm here to grab supplies uh, because I got to get to work on some stuff. I need to grab the stuff to make the longboat. Which I usually have right here. This is where it is. All right, I'm definitely going to need to stash some some of the wood because I can't carry it all. All right, so here we have the long ship. Now I wonder if I can't just set this like right there. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can actually get this kind of pointing in the right direction. I guess it's not that bad. Let me just kind of slowly bring this forward. Now, according to Grand, you can totally fit this through here. I'm sliding to the side. That's not exactly great. Yeah. Okay, so you might have to play bumper cars a little bit to get this through here. All right, let me let me line this up. Am I hitting the the log up front? I think I'm hitting the log up front. That's okay. I just need to line this thing up so that I get a rough idea of how I'm supposed to fit a fit the the building around this. Okay, see that that right there, the mass sticking to the left and right. That's what I wanted to know. Now I do want to make sure that let me uh, actually. Let me get a little, just anything. Building, this works. Something to kind of eyeball this up so that I know where to stop. Like, uh, and I think uh, about the same distance on the other side will be good Good uh, eyeballing it here. This is just rough guesstimate, something like right about there. Okay, so I have to make it at least that wide, the opening, that wide. That way the, the mass can actually make it through and uh, it doesn't get stuck on the building itself. All right, so that was a, that was a good test. I'll leave that there while I build it. Mine as well. It's also rainy and crappy. I kind of want to kind of want the rain to stop. Go away. All right, now I have to get my uh, my thinking cap on and do a little brainstorming. So this might be a little bit of a jump here, but I'm going to do that up this area a bit. I'm also going to get rid of a lot of this grass because uh, uh, I don't need it here. I think what I'll do is I'll flatten actually because I'm going to be building in this area. So all right, I'll I'll get to work on uh, coming up with an idea here for this. Uh, this bridge bridge building and then I'll be right back all right it's pretty makeshift it's pretty basic right now but I'm just testing this out to see if this is even will work um, if this is the correct height and uh, if it is then I'll continue on but if it's not then I gotta tweak it I did a little bit of work up here let's see if I can't hop over here all right so this is just extending the walkway out I just want to see if the mast will clear this or if it'll hit it or what. I had to use some iron supports in here because although the stone I can build up like this one, anytime I start building outward from when I get up this high, it starts to crumble apart. So I had to bring in some iron supports to this, which I kind of figured I would need to. I had to run back to my base and just to get the <laughs> just get the iron and the copper to make a forge for out here. But all right, so here's the big test. Let's see if this thing. Will, oops, well, let's let's just fall in. Let's just see if this thing will actually uh, actually work. <clears throat> all right, so we're looking. Let's zoom out here so we can see. We're looking at seeing if this thing will just clear the top part. If I can even get through here. <laughs> oh, it's a tight fit. And I can't turn it anymore because I'm just scraping against the side of the wall. Uh, uh, kind of looks like it's going to get hit, going to get stuck. Although you can squeeze through. It's totally possible to squeeze through, but I, I don't want to squeeze through. I want to be able to. Ooh, I want to be able to fit through easily. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can't turn this thing around. Now, Grant did dig out a lot of this. I don't know if there's enough to turn it around, but she did dig out a lot of it. 
There might not be enough to turn around, actually. If that's the case, I'm going to have to break this thing down and just rebuild it. Come on, turn, Betsy. Turn. Not a lot of room to maneuver in here. And, uh... I mean, that's to be expected. It's just supposed to be a one-way. So <laughs> turning around isn't really an option. Ugh, I might have to dig this thing. I might have to unbeach this thing by destroying it and replacing it. Yeah, I'm going to. It's going to take forever to get this thing. Otherwise, heave! Ho, oh, heave! Before I destroy this thing, actually, my inventory is totally full. So it looked like it did fit, but just barely. It's like not... It, it doesn't give me the heebie-jeebies, like the warm fuzzies. So I think what I'm... Uh, I kind of need to raise it up, like one more or so this is just trying to get the archway underneath sorted actually so that that the boats can fit through there that's that's the plan anyway. I mean even if it scrapes I mean I guess it's not that big of a deal yeah I mean oops fell off um, I mean I, I hmm, hmm. let me dump my inventory in here so I can actually pick up the boat and move it uh, even if it scrapes I guess it's not that big of a deal um, I mean, it did fit. It did fit under there. And that's the important part, right? Right. Okay. I'm still raising it up. Alright, boat's placed again. Now I just gotta get to work on raising this up just a hair. Oh good. It's raining. Alright, after a lot of trial and error, I think, <laughs> I think I've got the basic shape down for the archway. Uh, I still have to design the building going around it, but this was the most important part, was getting this part nailed down. Because uh, if this isn't right, well, then it doesn't matter how pretty the building looks. I fell off, dang it. Let's go up on this side, why don't we? Um, ugh, get over there. Uh, all right, yeah, so I, I basically copied that design over there over to this side. I think I did, anyway. Did I put the... Uh, I think I forgot the... Uh, what are they called? The core wood supports right there, which they have right there in between where the stone and the wood is. I forgot them on this side. I'll put those in. But uh, this is basically it. It should fit. Like, if we get... if I, well, let, me get let me actually get up there. If we get up there and actually look, it should fit. I still have to add the stone stairs and stuff like I did on the other side over here too, but I was just getting heat the basics down. Now, check that out. I mean, that, that should be tall enough for that to fit, provided there's no swells in the ocean from like a storm or something like that. Do I have the stone on me? Yeah, I do. Let me see if I can't get these stairs put in. Um, see, I believe what I did was I did that, and then I just put the stone stairs right on top of those. And then a slab action right here and right here. Now, there is the iron supports going throughout this whole thing. That's the reason why it's so stable. It's all green up here and everything like that is because of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and just drop the stairs in here then. Oh, stone cutters on the other side. Let me just stand right here. There we go. Just like that. All right, so sweet. We have the basic bridge down. I mean, it's, you can't get up here unless you use these ladders, but... This is the basics. Okay, so now it's all about designing the building that goes around this. Whew, all right, this is where the fun begins. All right, small little progress update right here. I'm trying to get the design of the shape down, and it's uh, it's becoming increasingly difficult because I got this crazy idea in mind, okay? And I don't know if I can even get it done, so this might be a big flop episode right here, but if it turns out, it's going to be epic. All right, so I got this design going on right here in the middle. I'm going to mirror it on this side as well. It's going to be a very symmetrical build where the, the front side is going to uh, mirror the back side. But I got this support kind of going right here. Now, this technically touches. I know it doesn't look like it touches, but if you whip out your hammer here and you actually look, this is uh, this is yellowish or whatever, but this right here is blue. It basically is considering that, that touching, which I don't know if I can copy that on the other side because it's really close, but we'll try. And I got this kind of roof going pattern kind of thing going down right here. I'm going to have a curve around and probably curve to the face of the building on this side. It's going to mirror all the way over here. Big teardrop shape kind of thing over to this side. And this facility, basically, is going to be the Eastern Canal. This building is going to be the town itself. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, and then there'll be probably walls put up, the palisade walls, maybe even some stone walls, really making this place safe and secure. And uh, this little town that we're we're basically using as a fob for uh, for while while we're over here building this. And I say we, uh, it's really Gran and myself because she's the one who did the digging out. And I'm the one doing the building. Um, we're using that as a, a place that we'll probably keep that intact, just like that. Nice little town right on the outskirts there. Um, but as far as the support here, I started working on some like stone kind of brick kind of thing and I'm not I'm not too sure about it I might have to rethink that one I use these things as temporary supports because this couldn't stay standing <laughs> without them so I might uh, might incorporate them actually into the build I'm not too sure because on the front of this it should look pretty cool it should look pretty epic and inviting allowing a ship to pass on through 
So yeah, there's your progress update. I'm going to keep working on it. Alright, another quick progress update for you guys here. Check this out. I got the stairs put in. So I think they're working pretty good. I think they do what they're supposed to do, just like that. They get uh, get you up, up top here and then back down just fine. I think they look alright too. And inside here, <clears throat> inside here, if you look, I actually got... Like, uh, well, that's that's kind of a... Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Um, but I got, like, the interior corridor kind of area here. I don't really like the 90-degree kind of upside-down stair things here. But I'm not too sure how to fix them. I mean, I guess I could put these slopes underneath each one of them. But then it'll just look kind of weird, too. I don't know. I'll work on it. I'll keep working on it. But check this out. I mean, this bridge is coming along nicely. I got the, the curved kind of roof kind of going on here for a majority of it here. I don't know how I'm going to fill all this in. I'm, I'm basically winging it the entire way. This is just spurting out of my imagination as I go. I thought about adding like another floor right here, kind of over everything. I think that might break up the design a little bit, so it's not just so, I don't know, like a triangle shape. But that's what I got so far. It's coming along nicely. Hopefully the longboat uh, is able to fit underneath there. I mean, it should. It looks like it's going to fit. And then I also got to add these supports on the other side as well, which you can't really see because of the sun rays right there, but right there I got to add these supports. So, And then I have to do the curved uh, roof pattern on this side as well. I haven't even touched that yet. I'm still working on this side. Whew. All right, I got to go grab more supplies. Well, this is pleasant. A skeleton surprise attacked me while I'm sitting here trying to build. <laughs> Had the audacity to interrupt me. <laughs> uh, these guys don't really stand much of a chance, though. Um, I've got way too good a gear, though, for these guys. Who's shooting at me? You are. Oh, missed him. Got him. Another skeleton archer. There can only be one. Is that it? Are you guys done? I still hear... Oh, no, here comes some more. There's some more shooting at me. Oh, bad time for a leg spike. See if I can't take these guys down quickly. Now this would be like super dangerous uh, if if I was a little less geared up for this, but uh, it's no problem with these guys. <clears throat> There's a lot of skeletons though. This is pretty bonkers. I can see if a person who is new on the server joined in right now, they would uh, probably have a really hard time with this. Any more? I hear things attacking. See me? I think they're going after that deer over there. Skeletons are terrified. No, my deer. Oh, no, I missed him. He's like, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, they're totally going after the deer back there, though. <laughs> That's where they all were. All right. Skeleton surprise. Oh, I hear another one. I hear one, like, fighting over here. Who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting an invisible grayling. That's got to be awkward. Anyway, poke! Boy, this is uh, this is taking a long time. I'm going to probably have to call it quits for tonight. Maybe pick this up tomorrow in real life. Uh, there'll be no time at all for you guys, though. So. Alright, so this is what I got done. I did get the uh, I did get like the little roof areas uh, done on all four sides. I see some wood over there that uh, maybe I just forgot to pick up. But yeah, I haven't started working really on this side too much, except for lowering that rune stone right there, because it was going to get in the way of my roof. And, uh... And yeah, I started construction on this right here. I'm thinking about putting like a really big balcony, like overlooking everything. I think that would look pretty awesome because I'm going to be putting the defenses and stuff on either side of this structure, you know? So this is this structure will be defended. Uh, as far as the village over there, they got to fend for themselves. Uh, so then over here will be the same thing. I'll clear out some trees and whatnot, and it'll be an overlook right here. And this is where the path leading to my base will go because if you look at the map, it uh, should connect right to my house right here. So... Because we're right here, and I got to connect right here, so that's uh, that. That's where that road will go. So I still have a lot of work to do, but I think I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. So I will see you guys in a, like a second. It's a brand spanking new day, and check it out. I also went ahead and uh, off camera, I went ahead and got these two things set up here. I'm processing my barley right now while I'm doing this building here. Uh, while I'm doing the, the work on the Eastern Canal, uh, I got the windmill cooking up some barley, well, grinding up some barley into some uh, barley wheat. Or barley flour right now and I actually been doing this for quite a while so I got this whole thing filled up made myself some fish wraps and uh, and some uh, lox meat pie and some blood pudding using all that fun stuff so yeah things are coming along nicely now I need to get back to building I've been doing actually a little bit 
uh, in between uh, in between my last recording. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong way. Totally turned around. And so I did a little bit more on this place. So let's come on, Portal. Please work with me. Did a little bit more on this place uh, uh, since you guys last saw. So here's a little a little snapshot update, a little look for you here. Uh, I got a little nifty design going that I'm I'm still winging it the whole entire way. Check this out as it loads in. Uh, it's coming together nicely. I'm actually really liking how this is turning out. Uh, but I'm I'm having fun with the circular designs here on the ends. I got to copy this pattern over onto the other side. But let's actually get on up here. Do do ju just jog up the stairs here. And so you got this little bridge catwalk thing leading to this big balcony that's overlooking the entire area, which I, I, I think looks awesome. So yeah, it's not fully roofed, it's not completely covered, which I might be able to do, actually, but I also don't know if I want to. Yeah, the rain's going to wreck part of it, but whatever, you know. I, I, I'm going for the aesthetic more so than anything. I do have to try to connect these two... Oop, I just fell all the way down here. I do have to try to connect these two roofs up here, though. This one right there, with that one right there, maybe. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. So that's something that i got to figure out, because they're not the same elevation. I don't know. Maybe I won't connect them. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But I do have to transfer all of this building that I've been doing over onto this side as well. So there's still quite a bit of work to do on this thing. And of course it starts raining. That's going to ruin a lot of the wood. I suppose there's no real helping that though, so... I mean, I'll go through and repair it, I'm sure. But uh, I did get the other side copied over. Let's jump over here. So this place is uh, is done over here as far as the roof goes and uh, and this little structure. But I'm I'm gonna think uh, I'm thinking maybe I gotta put like some fire pots or something in here to make it kind of look a little bit better. But down here, I need to do a lot of terraforming on the ground as well. But I do need to continue uh, what I'm working on on that other side over there onto this side as well. And then uh, and then I'm thinking this place will be just about finished. Let's get over here and take a look at what I got going on on the ground floor down here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm working on putting in the gate right here right now, but this is the roof for this, the bottom section, I'm thinking. So this little quarter right here is, like, is, for the most part, done. I do have to do something with this. I don't know. I'll, fi I'll figure something out, but I think, uh, I think I'm gonna have to repair the rain damage for sure. Alright, people, I think I did it. Check this out. Bam! Welcome to the Eastern Canal. I think it's finished. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of little tweaks and stuff that I could do to make it a little bit better, but check this out. This is all, all there is. It's just supposed to be basically a bridge. Now, I know there's a lot of open area here, and I might be able to do something with this, but I'm going to leave it for right now. I think it's fine. I went ahead and beached my boat over there so I can break it down. I flipped these walls around, too, so that from the outside here, since I was leaving these open from the outside here, it looks a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, this place is basically finished. This runestone was kind of in the way, so I kind of sank it into the ground a bit. So that's, at least I can get the roof on here. But yeah, check this out. Let, let's go over here and take a peek at what this looks like uh, from the water's uh, edge here. This is it right here. The Eastern Canal is basically finished. Um, you can't really live here, but I mean, I guess you could actually turn it into like a, a livable area. I think, oh, one, one thing I wanted to put in here was I wanted to slap one of these bad boys somewhere right in the middle. Bam, it's like that. Perfect. So now you can actually get comfort here as long as you have coal, you can uh, uh, feed that. So let's go ahead and break this down because I don't need it here anymore. Uh, I could leave this here for people to repair stuff as they go by. Sure, why not? But uh, but this is it. This is finished. I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. So let's uh, let's get to hop down here and get this in the background so it looks all nice and pretty. I do have to make the pads leading out to here from my base too as well. So that's something I still need to do, but... But yeah, the Eastern Canal, Dunzo. What do you guys think? You like it? If you do, let me know down in the comments section. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Uh, I will be back for some more in, uh, in next week's episode. So thanks again for watching, guys, and bye bye